question. Does anyone have any good techniques? Right, so here we have a video from Ellie the trucker about rolling straps and she wants to do it a little bit faster. Now you can buy ratchet rollers that click on the side of your trailer, you feed the strap in and wind the handle. They don't last five minutes, they usually break or you can pay mega money for metal ones. Uh, or you can buy a drill and it's literally like two pronged forks, you put the strap in a drill, wind it up and it's done. But what is more concerning is the comment section of this, particularly one guy. now. Despite me telling him that he was wrong, I guarantee 1,000% of truckers that are watching this are gonna back me up. And he was saying you should put the hook in the middle and roll from the hook first, if you like. So the reason we don't do that, despite me explaining to this guy several times, is because when you're throwing straps over a load, it might be all right in like a builder's merchant, but even there, you know, it's risky. What you don't want is the hook flying over the lorry when you're chucking the straps over. So you keep the hook this side, you chuck the strap over. That way, if it hits someone, they're only gonna hit by the tail end. Although they'll be annoyed, it isn't gonna injure them in any serious way. You could also be in a place like this where it's built up sort of areas. You could have parked cars down one side of you. You don't wanna be chucking the hook end over because you know you put it through someone's window and then they'll be really angry at you. Now I'm totally aware the dubbing will be out now because I've paused and restarted a stitch, but uh, here you go Ellie, we'll show you how it's done. Now I usually do about 15 straps a load, so we'll throw one out, give it to the right end of the strap, and then you just move your hands a little bit quicker darling, like that. There you go.